Kia ora, my name is Thomas London and welcome to Rush Haven in the sunny Bay of Plenty. Today I'll be your tour guide as we have a look around this 140 hectare farm owned by the Mexted family where Chris and Rosie Mexted share milk 550 spring calving crossbred cows. A long, long time ago, back in 2020, I lived in a town far, far away on the edge of Fiordland National Park. I worked as a glowworm cave guide. Tourism was my jam and guiding was my passion. I would work over five different locations, taking people of all ages on guided day walks on the Milford Track or on a boat cruise in Milford or Doubtful Sound. And of course, we would venture into the magnificent Tianel Glowworm Caves. My time in tourism came to a close and I became a casualty of COVID. Luckily, I had a childhood dream of becoming a farmer. And as one door closed, another door opened. I started my farming career two years ago right here at Rushhaven. I've managed to learn a lot by never being afraid to ask a question and put my hands up for something new that I don't know. This has meant that my farming base knowledge has been able to grow and grow and get me to where I am. I'm comfortable on the farm doing day to day tasks and have quickly grown into understanding pasture and grazing management, animal health and have a solid understanding of the management of calving and mating. But old habits die hard, and the poor girls get a safety brief before every milking that goes a little like this. Ladies, welcome to the cow shed once again. Thank you for coming. Without you, we wouldn't be able to have this wonderful milking experience. Now please remember, as you swiftly board the platform, watch your head, and once you're on the platform, please keep your hooves inside the ride at all times. Shortly after you board the platform, you'll get your in-house complimentary snack for your enjoyment. Here at Rush Haven, your happiness is our number one priority. <coughs> Margaret! At Rush Haven, we are a System 5 farm, utilising our feed pad and in-shed feeding system to feed maize, grass and lucerne silage, palm kernel, soya hull and kiwi fruit. Although we feed a lot of supplement, we are very focused on getting the most out of our land by carefully grazing our ryegrass and transitioning specific paddocks to summer grasses such as kaikuya paspellum. We will manage these on a shorter round to encourage quality growth. Rush Haven is well suited for to the hot summers of the Bay of Plenty being situated on wet peat soils, but this can become a challenge over the drying off and calving periods to manage pugging and the average pasture cover heading into spring. I've had a fantastic opportunity to learn from my employer Chris. He has fed my passion for farming and I owe a lot to him. In the long term I want to be able to merge my two passions together and have a farming tourism operation where I can bring guests out onto the land and show them how Kiwis farm. In doing this I'll be able to show them why New Zealand is leading the way in sustainable pastoral dairy farming and has a commitment to bettering our practices for animals and the environment. This will also allow me to be in a position where I can nurture new farmers' passions for the industry. This is an ambitious goal, and to achieve it, I'll need to keep building a solid foundation in the dairy industry. I'll do this by continuing to ask 101 questions to whoever's in front of me, attend Dairy NZ Field Days, and keep working my way through the primary ITO apprenticeship. I'll work my way up through the path of progression in dairying to a position where I can build capital for this venture and have networks to attract like-minded business partners. <laughs> what? Thanks, Poppy. Yeah, good job. However, it isn't all about the destination, but more about the journey to get there. My personal goals are to start a family and marry my beautiful fiance, Alice, in November. I want us to have the means to grow our family comfortably and for us to have close relationships with family and friends. In my time off farm, you'll find me at the hockey turf where I play goalie for the Whakatane men's team, hanging out with my four crazy nieces and the family, or heading into New Zealand's native bush where I enjoy tramping and have grown up in the scouting community. Last year I completed a 21 day outward bound course. While I was on that course, it finally sunk into that mushy mass inside my skull that I can do anything I put my mind to. And this has given me the drive and the confidence to achieve. What do you reckon, Frank? Any questions? <laughs>